this production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes, right here on the Game Fire Network, www.gamefire.com. I am your host, Bridger. We have another exciting, great episode here for you, episode number 48, basically ending our fourth season of Tales of Heroes. Every 12 episodes, we're going to call a season, and we've got a special event for you going on this week to commemorate our one-year anniversary, which is just this month on the uh, 14th or the 19th, depending on who you ask. So you're going to want to look out for that appearing on GameFire.com. But let's jump right into the game. I am Bridger again, and with me, of course, as always, is my waxy co-host, Vittensby. Welcome to the program. It's always great to be here, and I wanted to do another one of those music trivias. Last, uh, last Two weeks ago was the first one. Last week, uh, Red Ghost Star... One of our listeners uh, guessed the album correctly. It was The Shins, that uh, was the name of the band, and the album was Wincing the Night Away. So, I'm listening to another album. This one's from one of the, it's more of a well known band, but it's one of their older albums. Uh, it's a short name, starts with an M, ends with an E, and the album, uh, the initials of the album are O, first word O, second word S, last word. So, yeah that for the third music trivia then uh we'll give you a shout out on the show it seems to be pretty uh, positive response from everyone so far uh i guess we could just say that opposing fronts has been next to confirmed to come out on september 24th which is just a week or two away which is great news there's a little bit of hesitation from some people um hoping that you know there's a i've heard that there's a huge patch that they've been working on to make to fix a lot of the issues and balance problems that uh, people have been pointing out. So um, the game, as far as I understand, is going to come out on the 24th of September, so that's about two weeks from now. Uh, it's good news. Good news. Yep, absolutely. So we've got a great show for you today on Simwa. As you can see, we've got Disabled Company, you tell us who is... We'll tell you when. We will tell you when. Disabled Company, who is also known as Sumbloke on the forums. He's uh, one of the Shoutcast moderators over there at uh, GameReplays.org. He sent this to us, actually. And uh, as well as Der Siegward Unser Sein. He, we're, he, Vittensby, what, how are we going to deal with this? Longest Smurf name ever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know who the hell he is, but I'll start out with that. Um, I don't know if you want to call him who the hell are you, but I just think we should call him Word. Yes, W-I-R-D. Uh, with, with, with the attitude. Word. So, you know, for instance, Word is making a Sturm Armory. Damn, that was a good grenade by Word. So Word okay. up, yo. All right, so <laughs> we're at the five-second mark. Let's jump right into the game at five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. So we had a very good discussion uh, this week as a, as a year in review week for Company of Heroes on our audio show. So I highly recommend you go check it out. We had Rogers and, and Hero on the show. And they were able to help us sort of reminisce about Company of Heroes, the original, uh, over the last year. And uh, over back from the beta and all the things that have changed and all the things we hope to see in the future. And next week is our official kickoff for opposing fronts discussion on uh, on on the audio show so we've got a two pioneer start and a two engineer start so both players going with an extra builder unit for the quick capping power and uh, interestingly uh, some looks going after the munitions point next to his base which a lot of players leave until later yeah, I, I don't know. After after they changed the wire thing in 1.6, I kind of started doing a strategy like like that as well, um, trying to get early munitions cap on your side of the river and not worrying too much about the old style Samoa pin gameplay. But uh, it's interesting they're both going with uh, an extra builder um, on Samoa. I guess you know that that could be considered optimal. I still think I, these days I'm preferring the one the one builder start. Um, 
It looks like uh, the Axis player is going for a more traditional old school type start. Type start <laughs> capping the uh, fuels. <laughs> I'd be uh, very surprised if those pioneers weren't going to cap the plus five. So, and of course, <laughs> you're wrong. Points <laughs> absolutely no reason. So, uh, no reason anyways. to cap the munitions. What are you talking about? Well, no reason to cap that strap point over there. <laughs> if you're not going to oh, cap the I fuel, what is, it, what is it linked to? Unless you're going straight for the plus 10, which he's not. So, anyways, uh, MG in the church, if uh, some bloke's on the gun right here, he'll go to the southwest pocket where there's a blind spot. But, uh, yep, unfortunately, right I don't think he's going to have enough time for that. He's going to have to pull nope. back or be suppressed pretty badly. Yep. You definitely do not want that to happen. That's that's the best possible thing that can happen uh, for a MG start or a weapon support center MG start is to suppress the first squad. It totally yeah. kills the uh, momentum of your opponent. Yeah. That's uh, something you got to watch out for. And, you know, if you're playing on someone, this is something I learned after many, many defeats, is the very early game, yeah, you got to you gotta micro your engineers and your pioneers around the outside of the map, capping those, you know, the different points around the area. But... You gotta be as fast as possible with those and get right back to the middle and watch the middle at all times. You know, if you're Germans, you want to watch and make sure you're right, that there aren't any riflemen, you know, a approaching your machine gun from the wrong direction. Or if you're if you got Volks out, you want to make sure that you have them in behind cover as soon as you see riflemen. Stop capping and get behind cover because those those small one or two second differences can really make the difference between being pinned and getting in a position where you can easily kill that machine gun before it does anything. Very true. Uh, looks like we have uh, early observation post going up. I think that's a little little too early, but it looks like he's going for almost a traditional beta start. To yeah, be both players going with a high yeah. fuel start. Yeah, very old school, uh, very old school strat. But uh, we'll see if it pays off. Uh, early sniper with as your second unit against rifle spam probably not recommended. But uh, I don't know, Bridger. I better. I wonder if the listeners notice the quality difference. I uh, sure hope so. Um, maybe you guys oh, yeah. can post if you if you think it sounds better. Anyways, uh, tier two going up from Word. Yeah, I'm not going to get tired of saying that. Uh, <laughs> sniper going to take care of those engineers, but uh, I don't know. Uh, some bloke could go for a pretty easy flank right now. That Doesn't... looks like we, it's exactly what he's doing. Yep. He's got them at maximum range for the most part, which is what you usually want to do. Unfortunately, you can't always control what they're doing, but you want them to be at maximum range. Nice grenade into the church. How much damage? A little bit. He got one guy, did some damage to the others, but it's tough because the church is so big. You don't often get a lot of them. Let's see if we can get inside the church here and get a look. There's the one guy in that window and one guy over here. So again, if you Another throw a grenade... Name kills that guy and the other yeah. guy because it landed down in the bottom there because the last grenade landed on the top floor in that one window it didn't actually do much to uh to the other two that were on the bottom that's why you see the damage the way it is i think we've pointed out in the past that the grenade seems to do you know more damage in smaller buildings because more units are clustered where the grenade lands indeed uh, we have a complimentary observation post uh from both players uh, on the plus 10 fuel, so I guess yep. they both kind of played the fast teching strategy. Um, happy with some blokes' uh, play so far, especially the early VP caps. I mean, some people say it's noob. All right, I might have agreed with that in the past, but you really put the pressure on uh, your opponent, and as you can see, five minutes in, the opponent's already down 70 VPs, so um, I, I do... I prefer to get an early VP cap um, as opposed to taking like a plus five or something. But uh, losing ground out there. So I guess it's whatever play style you like. Uh, some people say it's a waste of time. Uh, I find that v game beats right, Bridger. So I mean, or a lot of the games do. So why yeah. not get an early lead? Um, it's interesting. He's going. He OP'd his fuel to go to tier two. Um, this is a rather odd strategy. So we'll see if it plays off. He might be going off, for veterancy, though, because OPing your fuel will get you quick vet 2, which can be very yeah. useful with tier 2. If I see a double the grins, double the suck come out right now, I'm going to laugh my ass off. <laughs> <laughs>
but uh, certainly this uh, fast tech strategy can only really work on Samoa. Uh, he's playing it pretty much like you should, um, just just taking what he needs, oping it, trying to hold his you know what territory he has, and not playing it really aggressively. And I mean that playstyle works. Uh, uh -oh. Unfortunately, uh -oh. really dangerous nade right there. Ouch. Yeah, that's that that's a dead MG. Yeah, it would have been better if he had gotten into the head. I don't know. Maybe you can't. Can you get in the heavy cover at the end of that bridge, or is that too close to the bunker? I think that bunker will get you if you get too close there. Otherwise, I was thinking, get behind the heavy cover so he can't suppress you, then throw the grenade. But I don't think that would have been possible, actually, now that I look at the situation. I think it's just a little bit too close to the bunker. So yeah. we've got a motor pool out on the Allied side. He still hasn't chosen a Doctrine, from what I can tell. He's got two CPs right now. Yeah, or, neither, sorry, ne neither for a word. But uh, the annoying part about being trapped on, on that side of your bridge for Ally Zora Axis is that, uh, especially again, if you're Axis in the south against allies in the north, is that they can uh, you know, put a rifleman squad on the other, type of, other side of that hedge and nade anything that comes through, as well as do uh, harassment. Uh, and it's very difficult to set up your MG properly on that particular particular ledge and have proper line of sight because of that hedge. Yeah. So um, you definitely do not want to be in that situation that you just saw right there. Yeah, but he did manage yeah, to really, force him back. Yep. So and uh, what do we have coming out? A half track. Teching up to tier three. Germans are seizing territory. Right. We've got an M8 coming out for the Allies. How much munitions does he have? 96. He's actually got a lot of munitions income right now. He's got both. He's got the plus 16 here, and he's got it OP'd. And he's got the other two plus 10s and the plus 5. So he's yeah. got quite a bit of munitions income. And it looks like he's getting armored skirts, if my vision is correct here. We've got another grenade trying to take him out. Didn't quite get it. He could play ring yeah. around the, the house here. To finish yep. him off, but not gonna make it in time. Yeah, that was. Oh, whoa, that was he got an early kill. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's terrible. The sniper probably hit the only guy in the squad that was at near to full health, and the machine gun just ripped the last of them to pieces. Oh wow, yeah. that was really Some bad. Some going right. for uh, going for style points on that one. Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, if, if he was ice skating, he uh, fell on that triple axle. Oh, that's what we got tier 2 fast and fuel Flammen for. Warfer. A fast Flammenwerfer. That's actually pretty... Now that you think about it, that's the best way to get a fast Flammenwerfer. You need to get to tier 3 fast, but at the same time, you're going to need tier 2. So that's, that's what he was going for here. Unfortunately, the M8 is the perfect counter for it at this point. Unless he had some grenadiers to try and scare the M8 away. Otherwise, you know, the M8's going to take a long time to kill it, but the M8 will definitely kill it. Yeah, either grenadiers or storms, which is what he's called in now. So we do have oh, yeah. a rather very unconventional uh, strategy, which I love. Makes games interesting. Yep. Um, so very unconventional strategy. We do have a Panzer Shrek getting like upgraded. Uh, That's not a good idea. The way That's, uh... That thing's going to die for sure if, he's, if he doesn't just swing around and get the hell out of there right now. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure the M8's going to be able to catch it. No, he's just going to go in and try and fry some more. And he's got tons of them there. Look at that. He's going to be able to do quite a bit of damage here, potentially, if those, if he can get both of them rocking. Behind it, did it just get... Something seemed like it shot it from behind. But I damage just, engine. There it is. Uh, didn't do uh, as much uh, as you'd hope. That's certainly no uh, croc. If the croc did no, that kind of damage, you know. I wouldn't mind the croc at all. <laughs> well, certainly that was a, a waste of a good unit, is all I have to say about yeah. that. But uh, it was so got, unnecessary. He's even got Panzer Shreks on his storms right here. If he had just driven in right. the opposite direction exactly. and met the storms on the way, that armored car would have been in trouble. Yeah, here's a rather interesting move by some bloke. Some bridge. Uh, not sure what he's concerned about, but uh, the stormtroopers in the center by the graveyard just run over, ran over uh, another M8 mine. I guess the the original M8 mine, and 
we have another M8 coming out. So, uh, yeah, those, those stormtroopers need to be reinforced pretty badly. I really don't know what the hell this guy's doing. So, we'll <laughs> your guess see. is as good as mine on this one, Bridget. Yeah, right now. He's keeping him uh, camoed, hoping to maybe catch the Greyhound unawares, and he's capping with his M with his machine gun to try and lure them in. Let's see if it works. Here it comes. Now that MG's still gonna die in like one hit, even if the lure works. Here it goes. Uh, there it is. Houston, Houston, we have tier four. Wow. <laughs> and we yeah. have med packs too. You can see. Is that the the white glow is there? He's uh, keeping I can't him hidden. See the White glow. Are you talking about stormtroopers? Storm? Oh. This is oh. their health. Oh, bad, bad yeah, luck. They, they, the, the white glow is med packs, right? Is it? Man, what is the deal with this? I think that, yeah, the white glow is the med packs. The Shrek operator, so to speak, yeah. uh, definitely was wounded far too bad in that last <laughs> engagement. <laughs> he missed twice. <laughs> I think he lost an eye. I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> That's okay. God has seen fit to bless me with a spare. Yeah, if I was uh, some bloke right now, I'd probably uh, not take into consideration that I see a Panzer Command coming up in the replay, but I might have went uh, right side of uh, armor, got raided, and just raided the crap out of the entire map. Um, that yeah. that's probably would have been my uh, my assumption once I saw once I saw the fast Flamen Warfare go down. Um, but, uh, There's the half-track driver with no respect whatsoever for the French countryside that he's driving through here. So this is going to be really terrible if a Panzer IV pops out, because that's going to completely change the game here. It's like he can go through and try and blow the hell out of all this infantry, but a Panzer IV pops out and he's got nothing. Well, maybe this is what they call the Ostwin Rush. I don't know. I didn't realize there was an Ostwin Rush, but no, I've he's read... Uh, yeah, I thought you said he he's got, he's going to have enough fuel for a P4, but uh, we'll see what he what he decides to get. Uh, he doesn't have to deal with the tank depot. Panzer IV is definitely a decent choice. Um, Ostwin chews up motor pool pretty decently, so uh, who knows? I always yeah. got the impression I keep seeing it ping off. Maybe I'm just used to seeing it ping off of Sherman's, and I'm applying... Uh, yeah, definitely on tanks, that's what it does. All right, Bridger, place your bet. Ostwind or P4? Ostwind! Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know people were complaining on the forums that the Ostwind loses to a Stewart, and they're like, what the hell? Oh, no. Yeah, Here comes an M8 into the base. Timing. Now we can see the Panzer Command. Place the Panzer Command. Did yeah, he put a mine? He put a mine down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Very nice play. Uh, he definitely needs to get. I mean, if he doesn't know that there's a mine there, yeah, that's. Uh, oh, did he cancel it? He, it? No, he didn't. It does, I was gonna doesn't say he look like he, uh, he definitely needs to get a minesweeper right now. Take care of that. Uh, in the meantime, some bloke lost a uh, an M8 <laughs> in the upper left hand corner. Nice. <laughs> that was beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> he went right into the mine as it exploded. Nice. <laughs> but now it's still got no no engine at all. He dropped another mine right behind him. Oh! I didn't oh. even see that! Wow! Yeah. That's what he was doing. Yeah, those M8 mines, you gotta be really careful about the timing of it. We got another Austin <laughs> coming out. Uh, that was, uh... Why wow. would you get an Austin when you can oh. get a Panzer? Oh, yeah. Come on. I don't understand it's why fire. you would ever build an Ostwin when you could build a Panzer IV. Waited just a little bit longer. It's going to be better in almost every respect. The only advantage well, of the Ostwin is it's cheaper and lighter. Faster. So I guess he just um, wants to chase down the M8s then? It's definitely better against motor... Well, it's, I'm not saying it's better than against motor pool, but you could argue that the speed of the Ostwin and the, fa the fact that it fires very quickly and that you're not going to run into tanks um, some bloke might choose to tech up. Um, I don't know. He he looks like he's choosing to uh, go the motor pool path, um, which he which still hasn't definitely chosen a can doctor, work or a company rather. And he hasn't. He hasn't. Nobody's capped the middle. That's yeah. We've been we've been stagnant here for a little while. Yeah, it's just a rather unconventional game, but you know that's what makes uh, COH great. Yeah. 
Well, we'll <laughs> it's not see seeing Blitz, Blitz versus Armor on Ingerville for three patches in a row. Yeah. Three. I guess you can get a little tired of that. So, he's he's still trying <laughs> to figure out a way to get through these machine gun garrisons all over the place. And I think he's a little leery of using his M8s directly because the stormtroopers are hidden around. Yeah, the, he, I don't know. Uh, he definitely needs to keep his, his OS one at range. Keep it still. Do not move around with it. Uh, it has a huge accuracy penalty. Keep it at about medium range. Uh, probably the range of a Puma, even though it can shoot longer, and it will, it'll do a great job. Um, needs to get some vet veterancy, that's for sure. Uh, either that or a P4, which looks like probably what he's saving up for right now. Now, Panzer, uh, or sorry, an Ostwin counts as armor for the veterancy, right? I assume. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, maybe get some Knight's Cross as well while he's that. saving up for the fuel after this P4. Oh, yeah, that would Definitely. be nice. We've got four... CPs now for the allies. He hasn't quite chosen his doctrine yet. I think he wants to see how it unfolds, I guess, but um, he could go airborne if he yeah. sees a couple of tanks popping out. That'll sort of help him out with the AT Germans aspect. Territory from us. But at the same time, you know, at this point, he's pretty close to a Pershing if he really wanted one sometime in the near future. Yep. Improvements to I don't know. Let's see. What what company would you choose? Obviously not not infantry against tier four. No, he's gone airborne and he's got a strafing oh, run wait. coming in. Killed him. Oh. oh, I thought he killed all of them. Nope. One remaining guy in the stormtroopers. Not not too shabby. Did he just choose his, his company? Yes, just now. Just now? Yeah. Looks like he's uh, dropping Paris in. Yeah, this is. Probably not the optimal choice when there's an Austin on the field to go uh, to go airborne. Um, I guess he's just rather concerned at this point that uh, he'll need the extra AT. Uh, definitely Panzer IV with the level of veterancy is, is going to take down a Sherman, so uh, he's got to be really, really, really careful. Um, he's a, rather defensively, um, the Austin wasn't ran around some wall like it was a tiger and that AT gun wasn't, you know, it's very in a very nice defensive position and uh, oh, looks like a nade going off to the church. Yeah, did, absolutely did almost nothing. nothing, yeah. Wow, he left and got back in, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, is that, is that mine going to get hit by the Ostwin? Almost. That would have been kind of funny. Yeah, and that's that's really why you do not want to choose. Look at that. Was I mean, that a mine that just got hit? Yeah, that was a mine. Oh, wow. Uh, you do not want to choose uh, Airborne against when there's Oswins on the board. might be able to bait him into this AT gun here. Yeah. It looks like he's going to be successful. AT gun misses. Misses again. Wow. That's very unlucky. There's Excellent the first positioning one. with the Oswin. I uh, definitely need to pull back at this point. Can't afford to get another hit. Uh oh. Come on, man. Is he going to be able to get back in oh. time? He's got it. He's clear. Yep. There it is. Yep. He's out of line of sight now. Yep. Now we just need some vet veterancy, maybe get a stuh out. How uh, did this... Complimentary. Was there Force a... get level two. What hmm? happened to this, um, this half track in the north? Somehow it uh, got a damaged engine. Maybe the storms were there and then they retreated Maybe. back. Uh, we do have MP44 oh, oh, oh. on one of the squads. What Sniper walked make? onto a mine. It's no longer there. It got obliterated. <laughs> Where was that? In the middle, the 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 mine he played in front of the church. <laughs> yeah, I that see it, sucks. I mean, it's like it's one thing if your squad gets hit and you have to retreat it, but losing 340 manpower in one little shot. I don't think, I don't think some bloke even knew what he killed. <laughs> you can see that I just did. <laughs> All I gotta say is word. Yeah. Losing ground out there. <laughs> Looks like we have another pioneer squad coming out to repair. Uh, not the most aggressive game that we've no. uh, seen on the show, that's for sure. But perhaps one of the more interesting ones. Uh oh, Sherman's in trouble. We got a Panzer IV and Gren and and stormtroopers in the middle here, but he's going in the right direction. It doesn't not gonna hurt him. Yeah. See, the Sherman still can do damage. Oh, uh, it gets the cap. 
Got it. Retreat, retreat. He's nice. going, he's going. One more shot from the Sherman. Go! Not quite. Got out of range yeah. of time. We have a uh, med kit on the Stormtrooper. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, okay, fine. Spend your munitions on that, but why not just get a level of veteran? See, how many shows, like, what was it, 10 shows ago? I used to say it uh, Really need some better veterancy, and I, it's the Oswin at this point, this getting this extra Oswin is a mistake. Uh, he, he would have 130 fuel, easily has enough manpower in a minute for a Panther. Just get that, and then get level two vet, and it's going to be GG with the amount of, uh, I mean, an Oswin, two, uh, an Oswin now two, um, you know, a, a, a Panther four, get level two vet. I mean, get level one vet on Storm, start getting vet, and you're not going to lose, especially now that Airborne's out. You don't have to deal with Pershings, no heavy tanks. Um, the ATs can probably be bundle mated pretty easily. Um, he's just really letting uh, really letting some blow come back into this game at this point. Um, he had a huge teching advantage on him, but didn't capitalize on it, or even attempt at all. So what? a little, little, little disappointed, I would say. What's his fuel situation right now? Well, he has 120 fuel, so... So he should have had another Panzer IV out to help deal with this. Yeah. And right he, now, his Panzer IV isn't doing too much. Sitting yeah. there. Is he, oh, some bloke, oh, oh! Oh, no, here comes some another. Some bloke was the owner of the original Little M10 well, what that is could, this? so... <laughs> looks like, uh... Why is it going like, so... Oh, he's, he's medkitting, so he's retreating at, like, half speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I what? got to get back to the home base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on in the north here? We've got, oh, some Volks. Oh, I haven't seen AT Volks. AT drop, a bundle made, please. Uh oh. It is an, is, it is an AT drop. Oh, Straight crazy run. run kills all nice. the Volks. Needs the vet, too. Oh, wow. no. Oh, no. We've got a pack 38 here, too. Interesting. Yep. Cloak but, it, please. Yeah, it needs to be cloaked so you get that extra damage boost. Oh no, Pack 38's gonna hit the Panzer IV in the ass if it sees these things, but it's not going to. He's hiding the. He's hiding the Austin. Okay, now he's got yes. another. Did he build another Austin, or was that one that he had at his base? He had uh, an extra one. Oh, okay. Day, but uh, that building on Samoa, I've known for it to take like a hundred damn shots before it kills whatever's inside of there. Yeah, I don't it's know really what weird. it is. It's a brick building, that's why. It's, it counts as stone, so it, it yeah. gives a little bit better cover, it seems. Now he needs to get that Oswin out of there. He's... Sherman versus uh, Panzer IV. Yeah, Panzer IV's got the flank, exposed. though. Yeah, Panzer IV's easily got that one. Uh, it needs to follow that, even if he loses the P4, it's a very important victory. But he's going to pull it into an AT gun here at the north. What happened to the other AT gun that was up here? Oh, there it is. It got owned by the Oswin, it looks like. Yeah. Uh-oh, is he going to be able to do it enough vet. time? Oh, I don't man. think he is. No, 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 no way. No not way. good. No. He sh yeah. uh, the fatal error there was, as soon as the Sherm... Whoa, what happened? Did that... AT just shoot the Sherman in the back? No, the, the pack. The pack got it. Oh, the pack. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. The pack is way down there and it got it. That was pretty impressive. Ouch. Yeah, bring up a storm. Take it out. I mean, we're missing the whole action in the center. The Austin is just devastating everything in the middle of the map. But, yeah. Uh, yeah that's a, it's a crucial engagement. And right now, he can roll out with a, with a Tiger. Um, so, in about 30 oh! seconds. Nice uh, circle strafe by uh, seriously by killed some bloke, everything. Now, proving he has excellent M10 micro for second video replay. Or <laughs> Never thought I'd circle strafe an AT gun. Now I think, like I was pointing out before, the Panzer IV in the top there. The reason he lost that engagement is because you know he waited until the Sherman had left his range, and then the tank started to speed up. You have to have your tank starting to get moving before you know before the enemy actually leaves your range in order to keep keep in sight of him and keep the shots coming. M10, Main avoiding gun destroyed. Is it gonna oh. get out? Uh-oh, uh-oh, one more, there it is! 
out of control. Good night, Susan. Uh, I don't know why she's huge, piloting M10. But... <laughs> oh, <That's>... me M10. <laughs> <laughs> That's the little M10 that almost could. Almost could. <laughs> nice bundled nade. I think it was in the building it still killed those guys. Wow. And another grenade. The storms were cloaked, so it killed one of them. They couldn't get out of the way in time. That was a nice hop, skip, and a jump by that stormtrooper. <laughs> Pioneers versus AT gun back here. MP40s. They win. Pine. Yep. GG. Now they can cap the stuff here in the north. If, uh, How if is some blow? Whoa, tiger. Gonna... Yeah. How is he going to counter that tiger? Well, that AT wall he has right there could do it. It uh, doesn't look like our friend is paying too much attention. Clearly. I hear the word on the street is you need to back up from AT guns when you don't have veterancy, but maybe that's just me. Well, I guess if there's nothing else here, you can just flank them and one-shot them with a tiger. Go! Not one-shot. <laughs> go, go, tiger, one-shot. <laughs> <laughs> tiger, I choose you! Tiger uses 88 millimeter. Gun, yeah, you know if I was playing gun. Pokemon, I'd definitely pick the tiger. <laughs> AT gun one. uses armor piercing rounds. It's super effective. <laughs> tiger uses attempted circle strafe. Turret, turret, <laughs> turret turns too slow. Yeah. The tiger driver says, "Hey M10, I can do that too." Oh, oh now he's in trouble. Airborne now he's in AT. trouble. Oh, <laughs> turns around, that's... No! You don't drive backwards at an AT gun! Oh, there was a mine there from oh, the M10, oh. or the M8 a long time ago. Finally, yeah, wow. Now he can turn the AT gun around and kill it. Some bloke has I the gift of foresight. I said, now he can turn the... Never mind. Never mind. Just, never mind. I guess he didn't notice the thing has a destroyed engine. He's recruited. Now he's turning it around. Is it going to be too late? It's is he going to be able to get the two there's, shots There's no off? way the Tiger's going to get away from that. I would be very, very, very surprised. But uh, he already did his damage. I guess so. Oh, I was hoping to kill the mine there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, out of control. Strafing run? No. The looks strafing like a, run was in the middle. It looks like just a recon fire. <laughs> it kind of looked like those engineers killed the Tiger. Uh, tiger is down. Um, the good thing to note is some bloke's going to have a little bit more time to turn this one around. He got rid of the tiger and down to at least one VP. So uh, his early VP lead, um, well, we got that damn bug. Hopefully he'll be fixed in opposing fronts. But what's the VP's at for uh, some bloke right now? Uh, 400 for some bloke, 202 for uh, word. Yeah. Okay, so I was right. Yeah, his, his early VP lead uh, gave him a big advantage at this point, and uh, that extra time that he has is, is extremely valuable. A bundled nade under out. these uh, flame VET-1 mm -hmm. engineers would be very useful. He might be going for a bundled nade under the VET-2 AT gun, or he might be ignoring all of them and just draw, you know, creeping by. Ah, a bundled nade onto an airborne squad. Nope, nope, he's changed direction. He's, he's taking my advice, even though he can't hear me because this was played months ago, but that's okay. Nice! That's Destroyed really the gun, play. too. Oof. Yep, that'll give you a little bit of EXP. And uh, we could see a... Uh -oh. uh... You gotta uncloak <laughs> when you're in combat. You gotta uncloak for that reason. You could see a uh, dual Tigers coming out uh, within 30 seconds of each other uh, in about a minute, so... Uh, that that could be a big, big turning you... point in the game. Really? Retreat against an airborne squad? It, I don't know. It seems like... Yeah. Well, he's, he had two Panzer Shreks, which is probably why he had to do that. Level one vet, that's all I gotta points. say. But, uh... Mortar? <laughs> we have tech... Oh, off-map... No, okay, no. Mortar from the supply sky. Drop. Okay, supply drop. Supply right. Drop. Yeah. Right, okay. I got very confused yep. for a minute. I was like, where are the... Are those yeah, engineers? Definitely I think veteran... he's got engineers that he used for the mortar. Definitely veterancy at this point. Uh... For the Axis player? <laughs> yeah, a while ago. Would have been really nice. Uh, we have the first Tiger call-in. 30 seconds from now, we can see a man, another Manpower Blitz. Second Tiger call-in. Still a good chunk of... Uh, yeah. 
And I wouldn't even expose the first tiger. I'd keep it in reserve and then have the tigers do some kind of a pincer movement in the middle. And right. just catch everything by surprise and blow it all the hell up before he has any time to react. He's got, he's got two pioneers in his base right now. And can manpower blitz. Put down the comp craft center. Get level one veteran C. Manpower blitz right now. Call in the second tiger. GG! You know, so... Uh, yeah, that one, that one makes a big difference on tanks. Hypocritical in this particular match, but uh, veterancy, veterancy, veterancy. That's what it's all been about since a uh, patch or two ago. Supply lines are broken. We have territory out of supply. Now, this is the thing you don't want to do. I mean, even if you're going to attack with your tiger or bring it to the middle, you don't want to drive and sit right next to an enemy's munitions point so that he can see your tiger. You don't want him to know you have it. Right. Ooh, nice Nade airborne going off. grenade. He's going to be able to own these guys with the... There's, there's, the, the, the... You know, you can see how he's doing very poorly against airborne, and not just because of the grenades, but um, his, his storm squads are now at basically half power against infantry because they traded their, their main weapons for Panzer Shreks. And so as a result... He doesn't do very well. That's normally why it's better to have like two squads of storms with one Panzer Shrek each, rather than having a single squad with two Panzer Shreks. Right. Uh, looks like middle? another Strafer run came in. Was that Wasn't going after that the effective. Pioneer in the middle? Pioneer. Missed yeah, him. he's trying to buy buy his time. But uh, God, why won't you get veterans, you man? You love building tier one, tier two, tier four. You build all the buildings. But not the Comcraft Center. Well, the Comcraft Center's got a little bit of a, a boost in opposing fronts. They made it cost no fuel, so it just costs 100 Front manpower ship. now. Yeah. That's kind of nice. It should have had that oh. from the beginning. I, I kind of like that wreck. change. Yep. Could also uh, salvage the wreck in the in the middle with the Pioneers. And in the north the there, I was just looking at. Not, he's like, yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> The Sherman driver's like, are you sure about this, man? Sure, just flank it. It won't be able to turn around fast enough. <laughs> All right, if I see a Sherman take out a Tiger right here, which I'm not going to see. Cause... It's ass end toward the Tiger. Because there's just no right. way that's going to happen, right? Oh, we have an AT drop. It looks like he was going for, uh, for a lure, unfortunately. Doesn't the AT, when it drops normally, rearrange itself to shoot at whatever's close enough? Yeah. I don't know why yeah. it hasn't been. I haven't seen it do that twice this game. It's not done that. Yeah, that was uh, almost well executed. Uh, yeah, but this is not worth losing a Sherman over. As soon as he saw he was losing it. Whoa! Oh! Bombing oh! run did massive damage to the Tiger. Rear yeah. armor hit. Ah, oh, dear God. Very nice, nice counter. Very nice indeed. Can it get away? Not going the right way, man. <laughs> how, really is the, not. how is the coaxial shooting backwards? All right, are <laughs> you, you getting ready that? to count the five percent bug? I counted zero on that one. All right. Uh, in the meantime, we have uh, the rifleman capping on the the left side. Uh, some bugs trying to just just get those VPs down while he can, and uh, he's doing a pretty good job of it. it what was that? Was that uh, blitzkrieg going off on the left? Whoa! <laughs> That's a long ass bundle grenade. Didn't do anything. Oh, uh, it's assault. They can, you can throw that like halfway across. Oh, that was the assault. Uh, right. I thought you said inspired assault. I'm like, that can't be that. I forgot yeah, about the assault. Oh, it's all good. Enemy unit down. <laughs> I haven't never seen it thrown quite that far. That was like, you know. Amazing. I really don't know what he's waiting for. He's got a tiger, right? Build the Comcraft Center, manpower blitz, get three levels of better. Okay, okay we get it, we get it. That's why he's losing, we got it. It's not why he's losing. It's not why he's losing! It's why he shouldn't be losing! <laughs> Tiles with <two> bars? <laughs> <laughs> Flying across my oh my god, what is that? M10 <laughs> M10, <laughs> run him over. I wanna see it. I wanna see I wanna hear Bridges nope. Shrill cries. I it it 
listen, it doesn't make sense. When it doesn't make sense, you gotta fix it. And then you gotta quit. <laughs> Another Tiger Colin. Finally uses manpower, boy. Listen, Finally. I don't care how many Tiger Collins you got. You need some freaking capping power, too, because we're still losing the game here, buddy. And capping the fuel isn't going to win, I don't think. I guess, actually, it could help. Now he's he's in a position where he might want to... There's a supply drop. He's in a position where he might want to, uh, to do some kind of base rush with a double Tiger. They're both at full health. Yeah, he could potentially pull it off. There's AT guns from the sky, though. It would not be a good idea, I don't think. Yeah. Which, is, it seems like that's what he's lining himself up to do. Yeah. But I would recommend, he's, he's finally sending somebody back, some Pyos, to go cap that. Terra's charging in. Looks like they're gonna nade over the hedge. Was that a bundle nade that attacked the Paras? What Paris? was that? I don't know. I it might have been a that? satchel charge. I didn't see any satchel charge. I didn't see it, it either, well but that was a huge explosion. I wonder if it was set to yep. explode and the tiger shot and it and it hit it prematurely. Although I've never seen mm. that happen. AT drop from the heavens. M10. We have territory out. Not good for this tiger. It needs to be leaving right now, all the way, completely back up. If the M10 wants to chase it, that's fine. M10 will get pwned, but just back the hell up away from the AT gun. There you go. Oof, that's one five percent. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna uh, make it? Two five percent. Three five percent. Wow. Wow. Come on. Come on. Three five percenters. Damn it. I really want to have a, the record. On this show. <laughs> what happened to this tiger in the middle? Was there another mine somewhere? I must have missed it. Oh, it's the right VP while they're trying to trying to turn this game around. Uh, Sunblock's really out of. I mean, he's done a great job countering those tigers with what he has. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's uh, definitely gonna. I don't have know why issues. these guys aren't capping. He's got storms that are sitting. There. Oh, jeez. Maybe that's why. <laughs> oh man, mine's everywhere. <laughs> Sector being captured. Airborne is hit the field. We've got uh, some storms trying to drop a bundled nade onto an AT squad that's double vet. That could be very useful. Here comes assault grenades. No, he pulls it back early. But now yeah. we're going to have a triple cap here for at least a little while. He's not in a position to go and decap one of these really quick. Yeah. He could definitely be. There's a lot of munitions on this map if the Axis player went around and, with some pioneers. He could get a lot Those of munitions. There. Another Tiger calling. He doesn't need another Tiger. He needs more Stormtroopers with some MP44s. Mm -hmm. Another supply drop as well. Supply well, I mean, you could, you could get Knight's Cross. I'd rather just do that. Knight's Cross sure. works too, but. Nice cross with med kits. Oh, <laughs> so uber powerful, man. That's the You're super the soldier. Uh, I don't know where that week. came. Same tip of the week we had probably ten, ten weeks ago. <laughs> Get better and see. But uh, one thing about assault grenades, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, is when you use it, if they're pinned, it will not unpin you. It's just a way. Well, you have to do. Oh. Strafe run on the storm to the right. 300 points left. Yes, Where? Uh, just in the right hand pocket by the plus five fuel, but. Uh, oh, I missed it. Assault grenades will unsuppress you, so don't use it when you're pinned thinking it's like a. Oh, right, it'll unpin, unsuppress, but... but it won't unpin. Yep. Looks like this is gonna be GG. Axis yeah. player mounting a fairly good comeback here. Indeed. Very uh, chess-like game. I make this move, you make that move. Yeah. I make this move, you know, very, very small tactical engagement. Uh, very slow-paced game, but uh, interesting, refreshing pace. I don't think we've seen Tier 4 in a 1v1 in a hell of a long yeah. time on the show. So uh, So what do, you, what do you think was some bloke's problem with this game? Is it because he didn't go armor? 
<laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, airborne. Unless you have, you know, I think you. I don't. I don't know. Airborne wasn't a huge, huge like bad move, but uh, I mean, considering look how well placed that bombing run was, and uh, he did make great use of those ATs. But, uh, I definitely think Pershing would would have been invaluable against unvetted, uh, unvetted Tig as well. Early tier four, probably could have got. You were saying he, he had the ability to get it out. No, I don't know. You can, he'll probably post on the forums why. Yeah, well, I think again, it's just there's too much emphasis on these late game heavy units. Even if you only had one tiger the entire time, like the limit is now one tiger in in the opposing fronts beta. But even if you only had one tiger, it still would have been everything about that one tiger. It's just it's too powerful a unit for its cost. Nobody wants to build anything else when they can just build tigers. Save up manpower so the instant the tiger dies, you just build another one. Surprised some blows lost against such a like campy player. Uh, that's not to say anything <laughs> bad about word, but uh, I'm just surprised that some bloke wasn't more aggressive. Uh, he definitely he definitely could have pulled out the win with it. Right side off to to get uh, to get raid could have taken back full map control. Take up the Sherman shortly after that. Use your two M8s on your your quad, well, your half track in this case that you had to, to raid everything, constant harassment. Uh, you could have afforded to go two points on the right just because uh, we did have a stop in, in tier two and we're at two hundred points and uh, quite a long long stay in tier two. Um, also, I would have went raiding because there wasn't really anything going on to counter, you know, uh, to counter what was. What was going on with uh, oh, they're dead. the campy gameplay? The game, campy gameplay style. Is this one guy with a Panzer Strike gonna kill the tiger? He's been running around. He's vet two it now because be. he killed the other tiger. He's it vet three. <laughs> he killed two tigers. Woo! This guy's like an ace. Yeah. Now watch. He gets back into the game somehow with that. That would be awesome. <laughs> Word is determined to kill the paratrooper. <laughs> Be coming in. You will die. No, he won't. No, he won't. <laughs> One Panzer Shrek because he's got triple veterancy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think, uh, I think uh, some bloke's trying to say that his uh, airborne man might not be a man at all and perhaps is PMSing right now. Airborne, ready for action. He's pissed. That's what you're trying to say? <laughs> this guy's pissed. <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah. The Tiger Syndrome hit the Axis player, but it, it worked out okay for him, mostly because the Allied player did not have Pershing Syndrome. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. man. I really hope we see fix to the heavy tank spam in, in, uh, in, in opposing fronts. I'm sure we'll... I mean, the one Tiger and the one Pershing is going to help a little bit, especially Indeed. in team games. You're not going to see quite so many heavy tanks spammed. And if you're not spamming that many heavy tanks, you, by definition, have to be spending your manpower on something else which will be good, but that doesn't change the underlying problem, which is these tanks are too cost-effective. There's no reason to build a Sherman if you can build a Pershing. There's no reason to build a Panzer IV, you know, if you can build a Tiger. It's too cost-effective, so... Exactly. I mean, I would yeah. even Go mind going to 1,000, from 900 to 1,000 for, for the cost from of like these you, units. Like you used to be? Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Well, the Pershing was always 900, <clears throat> wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Just bump it up a little bit and see what that does to the gameplay in the beta, maybe. I don't know. There was one last thing I could add to this. Uh, Sumbluck saved up. How many CPs did he save up before? Uh, he had at least four. At least four? Yeah. Me and uh, Aniketas were talking about this, and someone put a post a long time ago that the 7 CP Pershing actually isn't 7 CPs if you save up. or it was something, some premise on it about that. But anyways, the point is, there's some... Yeah penalty if you save up more than two points or so i've read right i've read get. about that yeah yeah so you really want to choose your your company or doctrine by two points 
Um, you really want to choose it at that point. Uh, maybe you could delay a little bit longer, fine, but the, the longer you delay after you get the two points, the less experience. You have some kind of penalty that, that happens. Right. I don't know what the If you already is. have two points in the bank, it lowers the amount of experience income that you get. It's kind of like, like upkeep in, in Warcraft 3. It's really weird. But yeah. if you spend the points, then all of a sudden you're getting them fast again. I don't know what they were trying to do with that, but... Yep. But... Uh, Good game, guys. I like yeah. that one. It was very different. Yep. I'm sure we'll have another Armor versus Blitz on Angabil next week or something. Hopefully, you know, maybe next week we'll do the Lost the Lost Point to Hawk episode from a couple weeks back. Because I think it's, it's fresh enough that we'll have a fun game with it again. Yeah, we forgot all the goodness in that one. All right. So, cool. don't forget we have uh, the special, super secret, super awesome bonus coming out for you this week so keep it keep it locked on gamefire.com and send us any replays that you want to see re- reviewed to tales of at gamefire.com t-a-l-e-s-o-f at gamefire.com also send us your reviews and comments and feedback about our show tell us what you like what you don't like but for now i guess it's time to say goodbye for vittens me i am bridger signing off for the Tales of Heroes crew, don't forget to check out our audio show this week. It was very, very cool. A uh, year in review of Company of Heroes. And next week we'll have the very first Opposing Fronts show. So you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks, guys, for tuning in.